my name is Ben. I'm part of the EWB Israel and welcome to our project in Mekele. This is an open field tomato. It's a part of a demonstration plot that we built here a year ago. We started it a year ago to show uh, new techniques of uh, growing uh, tomatoes and other vegetables. The basic principle in this plot is that the tomatoes are growing in drip irrigation. Uh, instead of uh, flooding irrigation as the traditional uh, farmers doing, we have a main pipe over here. The pipe is getting water from a main tank about uh, 100 meters from here and it has drips every 30 centimeters. The plants have a 60 centimeter space between them. That's because that during its growing the, the plant is getting a, a larger volume than it's than it's now and we want to keep it as much air and wind through the plants. Another thing that we decided to do here is to grow the tomatoes on rice beds. Each bed is uh, about 20 or 30 centimeters uh, above the ground and it's again 40 to 30 centimeters wide. The reason we do this is to let more air get inside the root zone. We're dealing here with a very heavy soil and while we irrigate it, the, the roots can uh, suffer from uh, suffocation if, we don't, uh, if they don't have enough air. Another thing you can see here is that the tomatoes are uh, straying to a, to a main cable which is about one meter and a half high and this is to keep the tomato growing up and to prevent the, the fruit of touching the ground. So what we see here is the construction for the tomato. We have a, a main a barb cable that goes uh, one meter and a half above the ground. It is held by uh, wooden poles. Each pole is two meters high and it's buried about 50 centimeters in the ground. The reason that it's buried so deep is it's very important that the, this construction will be strong. Eventually, while the plants are growing, they're getting heavier and heavier, and this should support the weight of the fruit. The base of the cable is buried here under these piles of rocks. It is tied to uh, another rocks and on top of it all of these rocks that you can see here. This is very important to keep the barbed wire with a high tension because we don't want the weight of the tomatoes to fail it. The connection between the barbed wire and the wooden pole is made by two nails that is stick to the poles and then smashed into the barbed wire. This way it prevents the barbed wire to, to fall from the wooden poles. As we mentioned before, the space between each poles is six meters with the first and last uh, pole has an angle of about 70 degrees. What we will uh, show you now is a method to uh, tie the tomatoes while they're growing. The reason we are doing it is, uh, first of all, we're trying to avoid of, uh, the tomato touching the, the soil while they're growing. The soil is uh, usually wet when we irrigate it, and when the plant or the tomato touch the soil, it will uh, get disease and fungus and uh, it will be much harder for us later to sell it in the market. The second reason is to try to bring uh, as much air and wind through the leaves. This is, uh, will help us to prevent uh, disease and uh, accumulation of uh, pests. 
Now uh, we will show you one of the methods uh, how to do it. As you can see, we have uh, a main cable uh, about uh, one meter and a half from the ground, and uh, we have uh, this small uh, string that goes from it to the base of the plant. Okay, so now we will try to show on this plant from a closer look exactly what I'm doing. So I'm tying the strings on the base of the plant gently as possible. It shouldn't be too too strong. Like this. Then I choose the main stem which is this one, you can see it's bigger than the other one and I start to go with the string and loop it as gently as possible until it's standing straight with the strings Now after we loop it and it's, it looks good, we can tie it up here. Now we have, we have tied it and when it will grow, every couple of days we will come back to the plant and we will turn, turn the plant around the strain, just like this until it end the uh, until the end of the season thank you <laughs>